Harmony, thank you so very much for your time. Thank you. Congratulations on a brilliant piece of work. Thank you so much. I am still thinking about this film to this day. Cool. Um, I was curious kind of what the initial inspiration was for this film because it just it works at so many levels. Yeah, I just, I, I am, was just trying to come up with a, you know, an interesting backdrop and spring break seemed like a kind of cool, you know, uh, oh, backdrop for these characters and also some metaphorical for what happens later in this story. How was, because I know you filmed a lot of real spring break scenes, how was it working with that <laughs> mass of people? It was chaos, it was crazy, uh, yeah, it was, it's, uh, uh, you know, it was wild, they were like tearing hotels down and destroying things and, you know, it was pretty chaotic, it was, it was, uh, it was insane. And uh, one thing that struck me every time I go to Florida is the colors, the kind of the pastels, the neons, mm -hmm. and you picked that up so brilliantly in the film. What was that like shooting in Florida with that, and that sunlight too? Yeah, it was it was cool because I wanted the movie to be about like a so, uh, a culture of surfaces, mm -hmm. the way things looked and the design and all the pathology that comes from that. Um, and then Florida, yeah, you know the the pink suns, uh, sunsets, and uh, white beaches. It's a uh, I was trying to play with all those colors, almost like a painting or something. And I cannot talk to you without talking about James Franco. I mean, he, there's hitting it out of the park and then there's knocking it out of the universe. Yeah. And he did that. And you know, when you first when he first arrived on set and was that guy, I mean, what I was I, I couldn't believe it because I'd been spending I spent like a year just sending him images and talking to him, uh, designing the character, but I'd never seen him actually like do it. He didn't want to really rehearse. And then when he, you know, put the cornrows and the gold teeth and he like, you know, I heard the accent, I was like, whoa, and I knew he was going to play it like a maniac. He's a maniac. Um, and what's it like for you? You have a movie like this. Uh, the news <clears throat> seemed to follow. There were photos from the set, from the shoot. Mm -hmm. um, we were in Toronto and everyone was talking about it there. It's kind of been a long time coming. What does it mean to you now that we're here finally and pe finally people are going to be able to see it? No, it's exciting. It's like... Uh, it's like you can unleash this thing on the world. I've been waiting for a while, and you know, you kind of toil away in the dark, and the, the movie has a lot of ideas I've been playing with for a long time, and images and stuff, so it's nice. It's like, it's, uh, it's great to put it out in the world. Did you work very closely with Skrillex on oh, the music? I think you really nailed it with hiring that guy and kind of what, what you thought he brought to it. Yeah, Sonny is like, uh, you know, I wanted it to be like a physical element. To, uh, I wanted the mu music to almost seem like a drug or something, uh, or kind of uh, uh, have like a, a kind of um, transcendence to it. And um, and his music's all about pure energy, and so that's kind of you know it, it's pretty amazing.